Hi, my name is Mitchell and I'm a manufacturing engineer here at Haas Automation. For today's service video, we're going to discuss the proper maintenance for your Haas rotary table or indexer. We'll cover changing the oil in your rotary, situations where not to use compressed air, how to deal with damaged cables, and how to take care of a rotary that is beginning to rust. I'll be referencing several different documents throughout the duration of this video, and we'll put links to those in the description below. Now just like the engine in your car, your Haas indexer or rotary table needs to be serviced periodically to make sure it's running at peak performance. We recommend checking the oil level on your unit annually and changing out the oil every two years. Now you can check the oil level by looking through the sight glass that's located on the side of your unit. Ensure the unit is stopped and upright in order to accurately read the oil level. When filled to the proper height, the sight glass should be one third to completely full depending on the model. Make sure to check the user manual to determine the proper fill height of your specific rotary. Note that some models do not have side glasses, so it is even more important that you keep up with the routine maintenance of your rotary. Now I just grabbed this HRT210 straight from the line and checking the oil, it is filled up and ready for production. Under normal conditions, it should be good to run for another two years before needing an oil change. However, there are some instances where the oil change may be needed before that time. Now, if the oil in the sight glass is murky or is significantly lower than it should be, this is a good indication that there is a leak somewhere on your rotary. Now, this could be allowing oil to escape or coolant to enter the enclosure. Additionally, if the oil has turned black and is grimy, this is also a good indication that the oil needs to be replaced. Now the rotary that I've got here has been running for two years and is due for an oil change. Before starting, make sure the unit is stopped, upright, and then plugged from the machine. Ensure that the pressure has been bled from the system by disconnecting the airline from the machine before proceeding. Position the rotary over the edge of the table or suspend the unit using a crane or hoist to where you can access the bottom of the oil drain plug. If you have the unit set on a table, make sure it is properly strapped down to avoid injury. Place a container underneath the rotary to catch the oil you're draining. Unscrew both the top and the bottom plugs and wait for all the oil to drain out. On some models, the brake and oil plugs are next to each other. If this is the case, make sure only to remove the oil plugs. If the brake plug is removed, the rotary brake will no longer work and it must be serviced by a Haas service technician. Once finished, clean the magnetic drain plug of all iron particles and then fasten the bottom drain plug and wipe off any excess oil around the bottom of the unit. Next, use a small funnel to refill the unit with oil. Reference the lubricant, grease, and sealant tables on the Haas website for the proper oil and quantity to use. In this case, I'll be using 26 ounces or 0.77 liters of mobile SHC627. If you don't have this oil lying around your shop, you can use an alternative synthetic motor oil which you can get at any automotive store. We recommend using Mobile One 15W-50. Make sure to put in only the amount of oil specified by the lubricant, grease, and sealant table. It can be tempting to continually top off the oil or fill the reservoir all the way to the top. However, doing so will affect the performance of your rotary and even cause it to stop working. Once the unit has been filled to the proper oil level, reinstall the top fill plug and reattach the top plate if necessary. This is extremely important as chips can come into the enclosure and gum up the internal gears if the fill plug is not installed properly. Now your rotary is good to go for another two more years before you have to do this process again. Throughout the life of your rotary, it's gonna be covered with chips and it's a good practice to keep your unit tidy and clean. If you're using compressed air to clear off chips, avoid blowing air directly under the platter, brake, or around the spindle. The air can get in and pop off the seals surrounding these components. This can cause coolant to enter into the body and oil to leak out, affecting the performance of your unit. Even though the cables on your rotary are designed to live a long life inside your milling machine, there are times during normal operation where the cables can get pinched, cut up, or frayed. 
This is why it is a good practice to routinely check for damage to the outer casing and for exposed wires. Now if your rotary cable is damaged and has exposed wiring, stop operation and unplug the unit as the exposed wires could ground themselves to the machine and potentially harm the operator and the rotary unit. Next, contact your local HFO or go online to hosparts.com and get a replacement cable which will ship to you the next day. In the meantime, if the cable damage is not severe, you can wrap the exposed wires with electrical tape which will allow you to safely operate your rotary until the replacement cable arrives. If your rotary table or indexer is rusting, this is generally due to a coolant concentration issue where your coolant is running lean or less concentrated. We've made several videos on how to monitor and correct coolant concentration issues and we'll leave links to those in the description below. Once you have corrected the coolant concentration, remove any rust that has built up using a deburr pad and the same oil as is put in your rotary table or indexer. Once the rust is removed, wipe down all surfaces with a clean rag and apply a light coat of rust inhibitor to any exposed surfaces. Simple maintenance tasks like these can help ensure the longevity of your rotaries and allow you to continue to make parts for many years to come. For more information on your Haas rotary or any other Haas service related information, visit HaasCNC.com slash service. Thanks for watching.